welcome back. Today we are doing 22 minutes of weighted lower body goodness. So we're getting your glutes all over your legs, everything wonderful. And we just need one dumbbell. Um, if it's a heavier dumbbell, if you have something a little bit lighter, you may want to grab a pair of dumbbells instead. I just got my 130 pound dumbbell. Um, got a little extra weight as well. Just not right now, so I'm going to have my backup back there. Always good to have another pair so that you can kind of switch things out if you need to adjust. So, I'm going to show you each exercise. You want to find a balance with your weight between challenging and doable, of course. So you always want good form, but you always want to be ready to be done with that move by the end of the interval. We're going to be doing 45 seconds work and only 10 seconds rest. So. You don't need something super heavy here because we are using this weight for the entire 22 minutes almost because we're just doing those quick little rests to transition to the next exercise. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you each move. We've got three rounds once we start and yay. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is a deadlift variation that actually may turn a bit to the side. So we're doing sumo deadlifts. So you're setting up in your sumo stance, hips wider than, feet wider than hips. Knees and toes are pointing in that same direction. The weight is going to be shifted to one side. So this is a shifted sumo deadlift. We are using one leg. The other one's out for support and balance. So we are going to deadlift to one side here. All right, so we're getting in that position. Lats are engaged to hold the weight. We are pressing up and back down to that same side. So this is a single sided interval. So we will be doing all the one side and then all the other here. So from the front, real quick, we are just lifting that weight right there. So for a deadlift, your hips are going to stay higher than the knees and your chest is going to be open still, but it is going to face the floor a bit more than in a squat where we are much more upright. All right. So that's the first exercise. The rest won't get as long of an explanation. Um, we're gonna do step back lunges next, super simple. Stepping back, sinking down. Stepping back, sinking down. That's going to, your depth is going to depend on you. So the range of motion adjusts to yourself. For me right now, I need to stay a little bit higher with all the pregnancy stuff going on. But if you need to go deep, go super deep. <laughs> Always a good thing. So after that, we're going to do a pulse squat with a calf raise. Weight's gonna to come to center. We, sorry, it's a pause squat, not a pulse squat. <laughs> so we're gonna pause, one, two, and press up into a calf raise. Pause, one, two, press up into a calf raise. So you're just making sure that you are not up, down, up, down, up, down. We wanna have that nice little Pause and then drive up to standing there. After that, we are going to be doing shift squats. So back to back, lovely squat movements here. But what we're going to be doing, again, that one side is gonna be taking most of the weight. So we're going to start with my elbow wiggling side right here. Other side is out for support, so you're not using it as much. So we're squatting down and pressing through that one side right there. So we're squatting, other legs out wider for support, and we're really driving through the one side of your body, and of course then we will switch to the other side. So that one is a right and left interval, which I'll remind you of. After that, we're going to a sumo march. So we'll take our sumo stance, squat down, and we're marching. Right here, just like this. So again, one side of your body is going to be working a bit more when the other side is lifted. And then our last exercise, I know this seems like a really long explanation, is going to be squat to deadlift. So we're gonna squat, let that weight drop, deadlift, pull it up. Squat, drop, deadlift. So we're just going back and forth back and forth <laughs> between squat and deadlift. Move that weight up and down nice and controlled so you don't feel like you're gonna drop it. And that's it. Those are gonna be all of our exercises. 
I feel like that was as long as the whole workout. But we're going to go ahead and get started. It's going to be great with that shifted sumo deadlift. And yeah, let's go guys. Ready to get those legs working. Once I hit this, we're going to start in about three seconds. So be prepared. And everybody ready? Let's do this. Three, two, shifted sumo deadlift and go. So we are all on the one side right here. We're staying on whatever side you chose to start with. Getting nice work in that glute. Keep moving. Keep breathing. The knee and the toe are pointed in that same direction. Hips and butt hinge back. And we keep going for three, two, and we're switching sides. So same exact thing, other side right now. And we will start in three, two, one. Let's go right here. So all of your weight is pressing through the side that we're using right now. Really focusing on engaging, working that one side, and just letting the other one be there for support, for balance, for everything else. But you should really feel that one glute, that one leg, firing here. So really focus on that. Focus on making that connection. Three, two, and resting there. So next we are going to the step back lunges. And we will start in three, two, and go. So we are alternating here. And like I mentioned before, <laughs> your depth, and how far you step back are going to depend on you, on your range of motion, all different things like that. So go as low as you feel good about, and you can recruit those correct muscles. <laughs> we got under 10 seconds left. Keep going, and three, and we're switching. All right, so we're going to that pause squat <laughs> with calf raise, and let's go. So we're going down, one, two, up, and get up on those calves. Down, one, two, up, get up on those calves. Again, go <laughs> at a pace that works for you with these exercises. Of course, this one, you are counting that one, two at the bottom. But you may not be right on track with me. That is okay. <laughs> We're not all going to go the exact same pace. I definitely am a little slower than usual, most likely. <laughs> And rest. Awesome job, guys. I put this weight down every time just to pick it back up. <laughs> Shift squats in three, two, one. Here we go. Whoop. I'm going to bring that leg in a bit. Remember, we are doing single sided here. We are squatting using mainly whatever leg you wanted to start with. Other ones out to the side for support. It will take some of your weight, not much, and really drive through the ground. Press into the floor to engage that glute. Four, three, and rest. All right, we're going to the other side. Get excited. In three, two, let's 
let's go. Right here. So this is not <laughs> a super heart rate killer today, but I promise adding strength training does wonderful, <laughs> amazing things for your body. So keep it up, keep moving, keep pushing yourself for five, three, and awesome job. So we're going now to that sumo march in four, three, here we go. We're sumo squatting, march. Sumo, march. So you get a little balance in here. Make sure you're engaging those abs. Working that deep core for stabilization. Nice sumo squats here, guys. You can do it for 10. Next up is that squat to deadlift. We've got three, two, and rest. All right, so squat to deadlift, deadlift to squat, however you'd like to start. But we're going into one. Let's go, guys. We're just alternating between the two. Your upper body also gets some nice work here when you're pulling that weight up. Press through those glutes, guys. You've got this. We are going for 15 more seconds here. Keep moving. Keep working. Rest. All right, I'm gonna take my ring off because it keeps getting scratched on there. But we're going shifted sumo deadlifts next. And go. Let's do it, guys. Boop. This one is a great chance to really get into your glute. Really focus on connecting, squeezing, working. It's a great one. <laughs> great one to work there. Nice, controlled pace. So you can feel the muscles you're going for here. Always important. We wanna actually be working them and rest. Instead of just going through the motions, it's easy to just fly through things All right, and go. But it's easy to just fly through, not thinking about really connecting to those muscles that we're targeting, which is such an important part of working out. And it's also connecting to those muscles is a great benefit of, you know, these non-interval, slightly more paced, workouts where you're really just going rep by rep <laughs> five seconds and three and rest awesome job guys we're going to those step back lunges next and we'll start in three two and go Let's do it, guys. Again, you may step back further than me. I've got all kinds of pregnancy hormones going on, so I've got to be extra careful about my joints and how lax they can become. 
Don't want to just sink and slide into movements without control. So if you're pregnant too, remember that. Nice extra control for you. All right, almost done guys. Five. Three. Rest, beautiful job. We're going to that pause squat next. Grab that weight and go, go, go. Pausing at the bottom, up to calf raise. Right here, this is where we're at. Keep going. Don't stop. You've got this. You are doing wonderful things for your body here. Creating strength, stability, all that wonderful stuff. And we're done in three, two, and rest. Again, with all of these, remember your range of motion depends on you. We're going to that shift squat next. And let's go. So we're gonna to go to one side, doing most of the work again, right here. Other side is out for support, but I'm really working this foot that is closer in here. Really pressing through that leg to come to standing. And it feels so good. 10 seconds. Keep going. Three. And we're gonna switch to the other side. Keep going guys, you have got this. And other side, let's go. Right here. This is it. Go at a pace that pushes you but allows good form. You're crushing this workout guys. You're doing amazing, wonderful things. Pull your body. Make sure you are breathing. If you are pregnant too, really focus on breathing. Really focus on that intentional exhale and rest. All right, we're going to sumo marches next. Three, two, one and go. March. So when I say intentional exhale, I'm talking about a pelvic floor activation and your transverse engaging. <laughs> so you're thinking about activating things. On that exhale, Super helpful, super key for keeping all that pressure balanced with the baby and rest. All right, so we're going back to that deadlift squat, alternating the two and go, go, go. Right here. And when you get up, pull that weight up for a squat. Pressing through here. The floor. So you're really engaging those glutes. Awesome job, everybody. You are doing great things. You're working. Your low body. Three, two, and rest. Awesome job, everyone. We are back 
to that shifted sumo deadlift. This is the last round. Let's get it and go. So right here, really pressing through the active leg. Just letting the other one be there. That is your moral support leg. As you press through the floor with your working leg. Keep going, guys. You got this. Keep working. We're in the last round. You're crushing it. And rest. Beautiful job, beautiful job. We're going to the other side. Other side here. And go. Beautiful form, very important here. Very, very important in all of these exercises and really in every exercise. So keep going, don't stop. You've got this. And it's your last time doing this movement. So keep it up, keep driving through that foot to get to the glute. And three, two, and rest. All right, next is that step back lunge. We really are only lunge of the workout. And grab that weight and go, 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 go. Hips are square. You're doing great things. That front foot, you want the weight pushed back. You don't want to be in your toes there. Keep going. We're in the last round. You can do it. Work them legs. We're 10 seconds here. Keep it up, almost done, three, two, rest. All right, we're going to that pause squat with calf raises next. <laughs> In three, two, and go. So you're down, one, two, up, calf raise. Just remember that nice little pause. A little hold at the bottom. Makes a rather large difference in how your squat feels, doesn't it? <laughs> Keep going, guys. We're almost done here. And this is the last time that we're doing these. We're under four minutes for the entire workout. And rest. All right, we're going back to that shift squat. Shift squat's next, so pick which side you want to start with. And we're going to start in two, one. Go, 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 go. So again, pressing through that one leg. Other one's just there for help. Nice little squats, guys. You can do it. We are almost done. Almost there. Stay strong. Keep it up, 12 seconds. 10. Let's go. Four. And rest. All right, we're going to the other side here. Hold my weight this time. <laughs> In three, two, and go. Right here. Other leg. We are driving through that foot. Other one is just there. Just chilling. 
Keeping us going. Let's go, guys. We are almost done. Whew. 12 seconds. Six, keep going. And rest. All right, so next is that sumo march. We're in our last two intervals. You're killing it. We're gonna start that into one, go, 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 sumo. Bring that leg up. Let's keep moving. You can do it. Even if your legs are tired. If your legs are not tired, you probably need a more challenging weight. Just a little bit. Woo. Keep going. We got 10 seconds here. Then we're going into that squat to deadlift. <laughs> and rest. All right, here we go. Last interval, guys. Stay strong. Keep it up. Those legs will be thanking you later. And go. So we come all the way up. And then down into a squat. <laughs> nice little shift of movement here. Drop that weight. You still want to focus on nice controlled lower like you would do if you hadn't wedged a squat into your deadlift. All right. Keep going. You got 10 seconds left in this whole workout. You're killing it. And here we are, two, one, done. Beautiful job, guys. You did amazing things. If you're looking for something to pair this with, throw a glute circuit on at the end. <laughs> and please remember to like and subscribe, all those things that help me to keep bringing you workouts. And yeah, so like I said, throw eight minute glutes on or whatever it may be afterwards, just for, you know, a little burnout there if you want. Otherwise, if you are done, Amazing job, congratulations, you crushed that. Remember, every time you're here and working, you're taking a step towards your goals. So, you're going, you're getting them, you're doing awesome, and I will see you next time.